Go Jin Hyun, the former chief executive officer of investment, holding company New Silk Roots Group, was charged on Wednesday, September 20, with false trading offences. The 54-year-old is the son of Emeritus Senior Minister Go Chok Tong. He was handed 39 charges under the Securities and Futures Act. Amidst his charges, Go is accused of conspiring with the other three men to create a misleading appearance of the price of new Silk Road securities on 31 trading days between February 2018 and August 2018. The alleged price manipulative orders and trades include share buybacks conducted through New Silk Road's corporate trading account. Go is also accused of pushing up the price of New Silk Road securities by placing orders and executing trades using his DBS private bank investment account. This allegedly occurred between August 2018 and December 2018. Go was charged along with three other men linked to New Silk Roots, Kelvin U Chong Kwan, 52, former executive director and chief corporate officer at New Silk Roots. 54-year-old William Teo Tian Chuan, a former finance director at the group, and 40-year-old Huang Yiwen, a commercial market maker engaged by New Silk Roots. In October 2020, the healthcare provider announced that it had appointed Mr. Daryl Lin Chi Lek as acting independent non-executive chairman of the board with effect from the same day. Mr. Lin took over from Go, who also announced that he had resigned as chairman. Go's role as non-independent and non-executive chairman had been announced earlier in 2020. He has been with the company since July 2015. Mr. Lim was appointed to the board on August 1, 2020, as an independent non-executive director and became the lead independent director this month. He was formerly the head of investor relations at the Singapore Exchange. According to a report in Business Times, other members of the board include Executive Director Shen Yuyun, Independent Non-Executive Director Vivian Chen, Chou Mei Mei, Non-Independent Non-Executive Director Indru Chua, Sun Kian, and Independent Non-Executive Director Alex Chua Sion Kiet. In Singapore Exchange filings in October 2020, the company revealed that both Go and Teo had resigned from their posts with immediate effect. It said that Go resigned to devote more time to his personal affairs, while Teo quit to focus on personal matters and to pursue other interests. Another director who recently left the company is Kelvin Liu. Go, Teo and Liu will return to court next month. Of the four men, Wang is the only one who might receive more charges, the prosecution told the court. He will return to court for a further mention in November. If convicted, the men face a jail term of up to seven years, a fine of up to 250,000 Singapore dollars, or both per charge.